Hey, what up world? Vulture's Controller back again with another tarot card reading for the people out in the world. And um, we're going to start out by shuffling the deck and pulling some vibes for the people. Just looking for some vibes and a message for the people out there. Whoever needs to hear this, whoever needs to see this. And let's see what we get. <laughs> okay, so we have... Oh yeah, we're off to a good start. Nine of sticks, son of knives, and mother of coins. So I'm feeling like the mother of coins is, is the foundation frequency. And initially when I look at this card, the first thing I notice is, is the woman laying in bed. You know, she's chilling with, with a cat and um, some other pets. I think I see a snail and a turtle, which is interesting because they're animals that are in a shell. You know, so this is like telling me you have to know when to go within. You know, and her eyes are, are covered with the um, blindfold for resting, but the symbolism behind it um, makes me think that, um, you know, we're being called to go within and um, and meditate and, and be in a restful, relaxing place and to be a visionary and, and go into that dream world. And um, you can also see the lavender on the pillow, which is also, you know, kind of reminding us to, to set a mode and a mood. And um, aromatherapy is always a great way to get into this spiritual meditative space. So, yeah, I think we're being called to, to relax and to go within and to dream up a new reality. So when I when I see the son of knives after after the mother of coins and the symbolism behind it, you know we, we see the the character with a switchblade and and a knife in his hand and he's standing in front of a church. So the the feeling I get from this is is when I see knives or blades or, or any kind of thing that's likened to a sword, I always think that that we're being called to speak our wisdom, you know, because the word and, and the tongue is I mean excuse me the tongue is is likened to the sword. So I think we're being called to dream up a new reality and then also to have the actions to speak this wisdom into existence and and it's being fortified or amplified by the power of the creator you know hence the church in the background so you know that's 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 the feeling i'm getting you know in the narrative that that's being formed as i i kind of tune into this reading so to finish this out um we have the nine of sticks and I really love um, um, the, the symbolism and just the character of this card because she reminds me of a lot of the women in my family. You know, the, the three generations of women, you know, from New Orleans that, that raised me, you know, really um, embodied the essence of this card. You know, the mojo bag, the Bible and the pistol. And then you see the, the skulls on the sticks in the background that represents the ancestors that back us, fortify us, and inspire us. So, you know, to finish the card out like this is, is to remind us, you know, to dream up a new reality, you know, from the mother of coins, you know, with the son of knives, to rely on our wisdom and our words to speak. And, and they're, they're, they're amplified by the power of the creator. Then we have the nine of sticks and, and she reminds us that, you know, by all means necessary, we have everything that we need to get through this and, and our mission. We have all our tools, we have our mojo bag, we have our magic, we have the good book that we call the Bible that we use for various ways and, 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 and reasons. And then we have the pistol, you know, which is another tool and it's all backed by the ancestors. So thanks for joining me and I'll be back with another reading y'all. Peace and love.